Hey, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to look at the Cohesity cluster that you've seen me build and upgrade, and I've recently upgraded to the very latest release. And I'm going to switch it to being managed through Helios, the central management console that is a web service from Cohesity. So here's my cluster. Uh, it's It's been shut down for a little while, my, my single node virtual cluster. It's been shut down for a little while because it's summertime here and it gets a little hot and I've had to relocate my um, my server from in my garage where things got so hot that drives were shutting down to in my home office where there's at least some air conditioning to keep it cool. So you can see that there's been some critical errors in the past but uh, that's, that's from the, the shutdown time and uh, the backups taking quite a while after the, they hadn't run for a, a few weeks. All right, this is my local cluster, but I want to manage through the central management console, which is this helios.cohesity.com. And so I'll log into him. Login to Helios is integrated with the Cohesity support login. And so it's the same, same login to both, although that it is a different site. Console comes up and says that I should go to my cluster and use the Helios icon. And you can see in this top right corner, that there is a Helios icon and currently that cluster does not have Helios enabled. Here on my cluster, I don't have that Helios logo, even though I am running this cluster at the very latest release, 6.1.1a, that was released earlier in January this year. The thing is that you need to talk to Cohesity support to have them set a flag on your cluster in order to enable that uh, access to add to Helios. So I'm just going to get support to enable that for me and then we'll come back and have a look at that change. Well that was quick, I only took a moment or two and now you can see that I have my Helios enablement flag here and if I select that I can enable Helios. Uh, unable to connect to Helios and then it wants me to log into Helios itself once that authentication is complete you can see that it's now connecting while we're waiting for that connection let's just refresh our Helios view and see if we see anything different now Look at that. While it's showing connecting still at the cluster side, Helios is now showing us exactly that status that we saw before. So we have our cluster connected up and we can see the same information that we could see before. This stage you can see that the protection and admin screens are, are greyed out, but the platform, some of the platform information and monitoring information is available. And my expectation is that after a few minutes this data will all be pushed up and I'll be able to use the uh, Helios uh, to manage my, my cluster. So let's give that a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to give it five or ten minutes and then come back again and we'll take a look at what we can see when the, the data upload is complete on Helios. After a few minutes we get the cluster is connected to Helios message in here and Everything remains the same on my local cluster, so I can still manage my cluster, I can still see its stats through here, but if I switch out to the Helios page, and it looks exactly the same. The only difference is that instead of just having a cluster name, I have a drop down of which cluster to choose. So I can definitely come in here, take a look at my protection, and see what's going on with that protection, what's being protected in here. Maybe I want to come in and have a look at my uh, job, and maybe want to make changes to it. Um, currently it's it's still busy doing protection, it must be just time for that protection job to run. Uh, maybe I want to add um, another um, machine to be backed up, so maybe I'm coming in here into my Tauranga data center and my host and looking to back up there's nothing else in there that I want to back up. I'm already backing everything that's useful up. But I could equally e easily come in here and make changes because I did allow both read-write access 
from my um, allowed read write access from my cluster if you remember back here in the cluster when I was in that Helios uh, managed connection I didn't turn on the view only option I did leave it as, as read write from here so all of the management can be completed through from the Helios portal and I think that's that's pretty cool because now I can see my cluster even though I'm on a, a separate network I don't need a network connection to it I have a management as a service portal this will become really important to me when I've got multiple of these cohesity clusters and so one of the next things that I'm going to do is to set up replication between this cluster in my main lab and my other cluster in the V Brown Bank mobile lab. Of course temperatures being what they are I can't power up the mobile lab at the moment I need to get some cooler uh, some quieter fans in it so I can move it in here to my air-conditioned office with me. Uh, that will come in the following video. Right now it's taken us just a couple of minutes to get my cluster connected to Helios. Uh, the prerequisites were that I needed to be on a pretty recent build. The 6.01c is the earliest Cohesity cluster build that is supported for Helios and then I needed to ask support to enable Helios access for me. Those two tasks didn't take terribly long and here I am with a cluster manageable from Helios. Uh, check back later and we'll have more interesting videos around managing particularly replication between multiple clusters through Helios.